President Bola Metunubu met with traditional rulers in the country on Thursday, during which members of his cabinet briefed them on what government has been doing since it came to office. The meeting was, of course, convened to prevail on the traditional rulers to dissuade their constituents from taking part on of the August um, or in the August first hunger protest. Kendi Amodu reports. Government is worried, and its worries are all about the protests that are being planned against the 1st of August. Though it concedes that protest is a fundamental right of every individual, the concern is that faceless persons are feeding off the frustrations of Nigerians to create an unwieldy situation. The traditional rulers have been fully briefed and aligned with government's fears that the protests may be hijacked and descend into anarchy. So for us, it's all encompassing. People that are that are out there to maybe protest. It's their right, civic right. But let them put a face to it, and don't let it be hijacked by people that has ulterior motive. That is our stand. And, uh, we're hopeful, you know, that inshallah it will be well even though we have made it very clear to him our main problem in this country especially in the north here is security issue if the security uh, situation is addressed certainly people will go back to their farms so the issue of hunger will drastically you know go down and it will disappear for the traditional rulers government has a genuine concern about the future impact the demonstration might have on the country there is nobody that will not be worried you know about protests in any any place in the world and uh, we've seen what happened in other climes you know governments were brought down and uh, they're still in war at least as, uh, as an ex-diplomat uh, we've seen what happened in other climes uh, so we're in a position to say authoritatively what happened in other places so we are calling on our people to uh, exercise patience and also um, to listen to the words of wisdom. I'm a young person myself. It's been 24 years that I've been back and it's been 24 years that I've sadly seen the nation going in a very unpatible direction. But by God's grace, I think if you would give us the chance, this protest, I know that it's catching you very, very high in your neck. But if you give us the chance, let us not destroy our own country. I ask you, think of Libya. Libya was a beautiful country. What has happened to Libya, we don't want it to happen here. Authorities are being cautious about the protests because they feel they could be motivated by opposition politics, independent parties, sovereign interference, terrorist groups, or any number of organizations. From State House Abuja, Kendi Amudu, Trust TV News.